Ako upon all Biafrans, wherever you are in this world, come on. Biano, I pankata. Let us talk about it. I welcome all that I see and all that are listed going down, 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 down. I welcome you to today's show of let's talk about it. Oh, we're going to talk about it. I got pankatama keep in a menu. But let me first thank God. I thank God for waking me up today, giving putting breath in my body. And I always know that God will never leave me, leave me or leave Biafra. I know that he will never forsake us. We're here to talk. Let us get to this subject matter. But God, God, come. I beg of you to come into this forum and let's expose who is with us and who is not. Do you know sometimes I don't know whether people understand the power of the woman that we have, the women that we have, their power, their ability to bring us to this world, born us. The strength to keep us. The strength to look after us even when we go wrong. Does anybody understand the power of the, of the Biafran woman? Does anybody in this world understand? I don't care if you're Polish who are refusing some of us to come into their country. I don't care if you're Irish who are doing their own. Point is the strength and the power of the woman can never be measured or compared to any other strength of anything else in this world. The task that they undertake to protect us on a daily basis, women, mothers, unbelievable. I like to thank our vet, American Biafran veterans. This network in Washington, D.C. is a powerhouse. I thank those who have given their lives for the struggle to restore Biafran land. Why would I start by thanking Umwada Biafra worldwide, wherever you are? because I love them. I pray that God continue to give them the strength when we cannot, when our weakness come. I thank you, Umada. My God, I love you. Love you too. <laughs> now, why this meeting today? Because there is something that is going on. When the women have taken a stand and are moving this movement forward, some snakes come around and begin to make noise and begin to try to remove and curve and get in. <laughs> We've had a program called uh, Enemies Within. How about those enemies without who come into the pure, the purity of Umada, those, the, the natural, oh my God, I, it, it makes me angry, but I'm not angry. I don't get angry. That's how you get old, you get young. You stay young by not getting angry. You use this thing, and I boy, you see. Don't forget the disclaimer, because I think that you're the American Biafran veterans. You know, many people don't know. We are veterans who served 
and continue to serve in armed forces of the United States. We are veterans, Army veterans, experienced, not just in on the ground, but on the air and on the sea, logistically, we are vets. And we've been watching. We know when Umada and what they are doing to help our own brothers and sisters and mothers and cousins and uncles at home. We know what they are doing. And we know when the snake come around and we just need to have to that knife come closer so we can cut that head. We're going to go ahead and bring in my dear sister, both of them. Ndidi Amaka, God bless you. God Go bless Mary. you. God bless you. I hope your mic is open because you are going to be the one to tell us all about this investigation that took that you that took place and you conducted and how you found out that there were snakes in the house. Or better yet, rats. Okay. How do we start? We have put in, I've put in four minutes of this program so far. And I just want you to go ahead and tell the world, wherever you are in the world, you know, I don't care whether you're in Spain or in Afghanistan. Hey, don't they? Open your ears, because our mission is far from being over. What happened? What happened, Umada? Somebody decided to bring some money and give to Umada for its operation. Is that not what we're trying to do? To get some funds, and which we are still needing much more bigger funds, bigger. Rosemary, I'm, I get two more down. One of you have to really start. <laughs> and it's not a ranking thing. It's just, um, can I be done? Good morning, my sister. Good morning, the American Biafran veteran. Um, the veterans that have organized this occasion today that have been giving us their platform to voice our minds and our hearts to speak upon what is happening in our motherland. Mm -hmm. My people, my people. My people. My dear friends, people all over the world. Amen. I greet you all. Good, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening and good night to some of you at this uh, special moment that we have now. I have to welcome you all. And um, as God has arranged the nature of this world, no matter what happened, no matter the heavy weight of the rain rainfall, it will eventually drifts away and the sun will rise. No matter the thickness of the dark of the night or what happens, the clouds, they will eventually drift away and the sun will rise. No matter the amount of the heavy winds blowing up and down, left and right, mm -hmm. shaking everywhere, causing storms, they will eventually drift away and the sun must surely will rise. rise. Will rise. The bone shall rise again. And we greet you, our brothers and sisters, especially the Umwada Biafra worldwide. Amen. The people we represent, majority of us, the Umwadas, are behind they sing, and we are representing them. 
We thank them for giving us their support. We thank them for their encouragement, their prayers, because we are all inside this together. Correct. We thank our young men and women hmm. who are inside the bush or bushes of the Biafra land, protecting and you know, sheltering the people down there, covering all the corners of our bushes, sacrificing their time, energy, lives, and their family um, problems in order to protect us. Hmm. These people, we thank you. Thank you. It's because of you people that we are doing what we are doing. Amen. We draw our inspiration from you. We thank everybody mm -hmm. because we are here for you. Without mm -hmm. you, we won't be here. So today we have come to talk about it. After all this whole thing that has happened, how it started, where it started, and, um, you know, like we said, Umwada is an organization. Yes. Umwada is an entity. Yes. Umwada are the daughters of Biafra. Chifo Bidike, I sincerely thank you for the way you put it, the power of a woman. And when you combine the power of being Umwada Biafra yes. to that power for you being a mother and a wife, then you know where we, where we come from and what we stand for. Amen. We are not playing. No. We Never. are not playing. Never. For us to start, I just wanted to welcome everybody. And I will yield to my sister, Ndida Amaka. Amen. To let the people know where we are and what is about to happen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Nidia Manka. Hey. Hey. Power, power. Batawana. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Grebia friends. Good morning, Adeje Jemba. Is there the one name? Thank one you, my time. sister. I will forever remain loyal to you. Thank you. Uh, a sister that was never born by my mother that I would want to have any day, any time. Mm -hmm. So you're welcome, sister. That makes two of us, sister. Welcome, great dear friends. Welcome, and I welcome uh, Ma Zimbabwe as well, our great patron, the man who has been there through thick and thin, has been accused falsely, falsely and all those, and he still has been so resilient. We thank you, sir. The journey has just begun. Amen. You, know, you should not quiver. You should not waver because we are pulling this. We're going to pull this with you all through. And I use this opportunity to welcome all great dear friends, men of goodwill. Those who have been with us through this turmoil, through this great challenge. Those who criticize us without getting the whole facts. Hmm. Those who supported us without the whole facts. Those who were patient with us to hear from both sides. And those who jumped into conclusion without hearing from both sides. Mm. You are all welcome to this. Let's talk about it. Mm. Today, the women that are here to set the record straight. I thank great dear friends, the great other men and women behind the camera, Chief BDK, all the crewmen behind this camera, Dr. Nise and everybody. I thank you guys. We welcome you. At a time when no platform gave us voice to speak, gave us a place to be heard. You guys decided to take the bull by the horn. Posterity will remember you. We appreciate you. It is said that there is always two sides of the coin. And mm -hmm. when you hear one side and you didn't hear the other side, and uh, you know, one thing that cannot be suppressed is truth. No matter how it is suppressed, someday it is a golden rule. It will sprout up from somewhere. It will come back up. So we thank you and we go straight to setting it right. Do my, my 
Ko Umada behind the schedule, the wonderful ladies that did these investigations, irrespective of all the intimidations, irrespective of all the trials and every arrow that pointed at them, mm. they remain focused and resolute. Amen. The great women, Biafra, we never forget that felt the Biafra we're going to go into is a Biafra that will require honesty, justice, and equity. And we must be whiter than white and whiter than snow. Mm. These women shouldered every blow, every blow from every angle, and they still were not shaken. They remained resolute and were able to unravel the truth. Umada will forever be loyal to you guys. Today is existing because you ladies made it to exist. Man. We thank you. Thank you. And welcome, everybody. Welcome. Thank you. So, Umada Biafra Worldwide, we are all over the world. And we know what Umada means when it comes to the great Biafra land, our culture. Mm -hmm. We are the women born by indigenous father and mother. And since we are patrilineal in marriage, we are all mother born by Igbo men in Igbo land. And our God-given right is we are the fearless warriors of the land. Amen. Who put this right when it is needed? When you see Umada rise up, it is when the going gets stuck and Umada will rise up as it is in this time. Umada are the ones, they are not for Paul, they are not for Paulus. They are for justice, equity, and rights. Amen. They call the king makers to order. They call the governors to order. They call the wives to order. They call brothers to brothers to order. Amen. We are impartial. We stand for truth and justice. And that is what Umada stands for. And that is why when it came that the image of Umada was being dented, mm. When it came, the image of Umada was being questioned. Hmm. The integrity of Umada was being questioned. We were like, no. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. If this image was messed up by our foremothers, we wouldn't be able to inherit it today. Amen. For that reason of purity, they were able to fight in 2029, in 1929. And we're able to save motherland. If they messed up this name, Umada, we won't be here today. And that is why we must, we bent on savaging this situation to be able to allow our daughters, children unborn to carry the same name, Umada. So this Thank Umada God. has come today to tell you that based on the investigations, the outcome, and the way forward, we must preserve this name with all manner of whatever it will cause to preserve and this name we will and so shall it be thank you sir so umada came with that force we know what is going on in Biafra land today how they're killing our children mm. brothers and sisters how even our own brothers and sisters who are in politics are helping the enemies to eradicate and extinguish our people the Umada rose. Among the things we did were we were able to communicate to the governors. We wrote a letter to the kingmakers, Obi of Phoenicia. We were able to communicate with the religious leaders. We gave them mandates. We told them to rise up and speak for the atrocities going on in Biafra land. We told them and they rose up. Everybody could see and attest to that based on the way the religious rose up to step into the shoes. We were moving at that force. We have other projects we are preparing to, you know, uh, that we link with uh, our leaders uh, hearing how we're mm -hmm. going to show him solidarity and all those stuff. It was at the point we were when this allegation of Umada. In the first place, Umada were not 
are accused of taking money. These 21 million or not 21 million that came, I want every dear friend that is honest and unbiased to listen. At the peak of our planning and our, our getting things ready for our leaders hearing, Dr. Nelly Ofebu of IPOP Asset Recovery came up with this bogus allegation. And the allegation says that Mrs. Chiwe, Sandra Acholonu, who resides in Spain, was paid to take money to slow Umada down. They accused myself, Mother and Didamaka, and Mother, uh, Mother Rosemary William, they accused us of removing Azuka Chas Wankwa of Salutonio from Umada group. So these three honorable, two honorable women and one were invited by IPOP worldwide. IPOP North America. We responded to this Korean call where they asked us what we knew about Azoka being removed from Umada Forum. Myself and, my, um, and Mother Rosemary told them that Azuka being removed from Umada Forum was a unanimous agreement of the Umada women because she breached the confidence and security of Umada. We were planning things and she got hit of it and she went to the media with it. And we said that is unacceptable. For that reason, in a unanimous agreement in general meeting, they said she has to be suspended. And our rule says when you are suspended, you're going to be suspended with all the people you brought. They were given opportunity to come and clear themselves. Those who came were able to establish their involvement and they were brought back. And those and Azuka and the other people chose not to come. At that meeting with uh, North America, they asked us if we were aware if Chinwa Acholonu was giving money to slow down Umada Biafra and to remove the Chike Dozem interview with Umada Biafra when our leader was adopted. And it was that time that myself and Rosemary said we didn't know because at that time we did not know. But we were asked if we knew, if we had money. Yes, Umada, like Mazi uh, Chief O said, we have projects, we solicit for fund, and we solicited that for fund, and we had a donor. In that meeting, we made, uh, they wanted us to agree to turn the money to Umeri accounts which I told them, myself and, and my sister Rosemary told them, we cannot do that because in Umada we offer almost 34 or, or almost up to 40 people. We cannot take that decision without consulting them. And Umada's money is not our personal money. And we are not here because of Umada. Umada, we are not accused of money. Chinwe Acholon works. And Chinwe Acholon refused to come and answer to her name. And we said we are not here to defend Chinwe. We are here to clear our name that we did not remove Azuka by ourselves as administrators of the association, but the unanimous agreement of Dumada did. And we were cleared. In that meeting, they, um, the uh, panelists asked Nelly or Febu to provide evidence to show that Chinwa Cholan was giving money. In that meeting, Nelly Afebu was not able to provide that. And that was what brought about the North Americans giving that verdict and that resolution based on evidence at their hands. And myself and Rosemary vehemently said, we're not there on trial for murder. 
we were there as Rosemary is a regional coordinator and I am among the women leaders in Madam Bridget Okafor's uh, women leadership in IPOP. Based on that, we answered that call. So we answered as individuals, not as Umada. And we cannot put Umada on trial. And for that reason, we cannot bring Umada money to you guys. So it was in that meeting that they realized because we we um, told them, yes, we have money. It was in that meeting that this issue of 21 million came. Umada never had problem with 21 million. Who gave it to us? Who gave? What we had problem was how the money was being taken away from us. We have projects. We were planning worldwide march and the uh, Biafran uh, women's siege. We wanted to reenact about women, you know, uh, uh, revolt. And we were planning that in a very big way and we solicited for funds. The local women in the villages, we need help. We needed a vehicle to bring them to the sites. We needed to feed them. We were planning it, and, we, and this is within the 13 states. And things were moving on well. But we started having problems when the money was being taken away from us. And when we call for accountability, Mrs. Chiwe Achalan will tell us it doesn't matter. That raised an eyebrow. And we wondered why will it not matter if you keep giving out money and you don't want to find out how they are doing with the money. And I want their friends to understand one thing. Mrs. Ichiwa Chalano owns the platform where Umada were using. It's her private platform. She owns the phone that people were getting contact with Umada. Mrs. Chiwa Chalano happens to be the anchor person between Umada and the other people on the world and the, the Biafrans. So she brought the person that gave us money. She brought the people that were taking the money from us. The problem came when Umada asked for accountability. And her reaction was why I said, if you guys will recall, when Biafra United said Umada and Didamaka gave said a, a private message to him. When he told us that he wants us to unravel the things from the back door, I sent him a, a message that we are already doing this. That was the reason why I told him that. Because we were already suspecting that these people taking money from us, are they genuine? Are they real? Are, is Chima Cholano with us or not without us? So that was why Umada set up a, an investigating panel. This is a panel of six honorable women. Five of them were brought by Chiwen, or put into the platform by Chiwen, and one of them by myself. Chiwen, while this investigation was going on, did everything she could to install and intimidate these people. Many of them left before the investigation got concluded. Many of them that could not be intimidated stayed and uh, were able to you know, execute their job. Many of them joined her, a few of them, some of them joined her in propagating her narrative. If you guys will recall, Chima Chalonu, she brought Shrine in the public domain to intimidate panelists she made series of a, um, brokers to intimidate the people doing the investigation. She sent intimidating voice messages from people that were threatening the, the panelists. She did a whole lot of things to intimidate the panelists and us, but we bet on the fact that the truth and nothing but the truth about this must be reviewed. It is true that the money was paid into my account and the rest was paid into Sister Rosemary's account. This was because 
as at that time, Umada do not have a bank account. And it was a unanimous agreement. Chiwe, as at that time, had already had my bank account because she wanted to use it to pay money into Mary account, which somebody paid in money and that money was turned into Mary account and Madam Oyibo confirmed the receipt. All these things are all in writing. So that was how she got my account. And when she, when this issue of money donation came in a general, in an executive meeting, she said they can use that account since it's already in existence. I said, you people can use it. And when they put in the money in my account, the balance, we said, okay, for them not to flag my account, let it be in Sister Rosemary's account. And that was how we account came into play. So we, they didn't pay money to our account because the money is ours. The money is not our money. They, we, we stepped into the occasion when it was needed. Having established this, they have brought issues among, you know, the mother when we wanted to know accountability and Chingwe said no, that the donor wants us to use the money. He doesn't care whether the project is carried out or not. We said no. And Chiwe will not allow us to talk to the donor. She will not allow us to communicate personally or anywhere with the, the, the people we, we are giving contracts. She turned out to be a middle woman between us and the other people instead of being part of us. So that was what raised an eyebrow that, you know, a, um, a red flag. The reason why I'm taking time to explain this is because the report of the panelists is in the public domain. But you know, we Africans, if you don't want us to know anything, put it in writing. Many people will not read it. Moreover, when the report is so voluminous. However, the Umada panelists took one whole month to unravel the truth. And within this one month, we were told never to talk about this case, never to discuss it, never to answer, unless they call you, you come and answer to them. But within that period, Chinwe was bringing shrine. She was talking about it in the public domain. She was doing, setting it right, a lot of things. That was why myself and Sister Rosemary, you guys never heard us speak anywhere. So... The woman that turned in their report on the 13th of February, 2022. Sister Rosemary, I want to, before I take it off from here, can you please read out the findings of Umada before I will take up their, their recommendations? Thank you. Um, Rosemary. Do you have anything else to add to what uh, the Jamaica have just said so that we can go on to the next section? Yes. Um, sister, reading it out, I think I have it here to read, but uh, we have it, we circulated it. Everybody's supposed to make our time to read out the 12 point findings of. Uh, Umwada, their recommendation. Umwada found out that uh, Chiwe Achalono, mm -hmm. who was one of us, she, she used, uh, she brought the people that took out the money that a donor gave to Umwada. And uh, none of those projects were executed. Okay. Yeah, and it happens that Chinwe Achalano knew those people in person that she brought. And also the church that we used to, you know, send those money, she was involved in them because the people that she brought to us were involved in them. So we have all these things in the public domain, in the public domain because we are going to post them in our website 
and already we circulated it. I believe anybody that is here today watching us have had some, uh, some time to look over those things. So there is no point doing a redundant. But no. what, we, what we are here to tell you people is that based on the foundings of uh, the Umwada panelists and their recommendations, and after that, the Umwada, at the Umwada general meeting, we deliberated on them and we have unanimously dissociated ourselves from anything that pertaining to Shinwe Achalono. She's being expelled from Umwada group. So she's no longer with us because anybody that could bring all these shenanigans that would dent the image of Umwada, we are not supposed to be working with those people and then we are not supposed to be chewing words about it. And for those people that followed her, like um, the princess, uh, Princess Odonohe, um, and the Choma, Choma Okoma, Dr. Choma Okoma, that's her name, Dr. Choma Okoma, alias Adada, who lives here in the in United States of America. She's in New York. She's also part of it because she's the one that has been supporting Chinwe at Cholono. And she's backing her up even when she knew that things are not going right. Even when Mazi Mbakwe, Sister Maka and myself, we are trying to you know, prevent all these uh, money extortions going on. Shomo Okoma stood firm be behind the uh, Chinwa Cholono. And she's a, a co a, a co uh, conspirator with her. And those of them that went behind when the investigation were going on, they went and formed a kangaroo executives that they said they must receive the report and amend it before it will be given to the public. How could they do such a thing? At the middle of the uh, you know, investigation, and they are forming um, groups, they go and form another executive, which is against the rule of what the panelists in a set aside. So that reason, plus the ones that followed her to bring the shrine to the public domain, to indent the image of Omada, we have you know, taking them off, we dissociate ourselves from them. Because so much that, as we said, when it comes to the tough of everything in our motherland, it's so much that goes in and set the record straight. We don't chew waste, we don't chew sides, we stand by the truth. And our leader and our brother, I call him my brother, and they say, why do you call him your brother? And I call him my leader, because Mazin Namdekano, he's not just a leader to me. He's my blood brother. Because if people should know the meaning of brotherhood and sisterhood, they know that we are the Umwadas. Umwada are the daughters of the land, and our brothers, sisters, mothers, and everybody there we are one blood. And not all the uh, leaders that I go and stand fighting for. Before I can fight for a leader, I will first of all fight for my brother, my mother, my sister, or anybody. So Umwada, Mazin Namdekano, is our brother and our leader. And nobody will say that my father cannot be the president of a state. And nobody says that my brother cannot be the prime minister of any country. So he has both attributes when it comes to Omoada. Mm -hmm. And he is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Of Biafra. Hi. And, the, and the number one king, even though the king and the others are parading as kings, 
This is the one king that we unanimously chose to be our leader because he is our brother Amen. before he becomes the leader. Amen. So I agree. We are standing here because people don't have that feeling of brotherhood or the blood that is between us and him. That's why they want him to stay in the incarceration, the dungeon of the DSS. Mm. We don't want that. No. He's not just a leader. No. As a mother, when your child is being adopted, when your child is being taken to a place that is not comfortable, you will put your wrapper across your waist and, and then right. you fight for your child. That's right. He is our brother. And we're fighting our, for him. Our son. He yes. is our husband. Yes. And he is our leader. Nobody yeah. said that he can't be any of those things. No. So why Absolutely. People, well said. When they leave what is important and they start beating about the bush, they have to stop it. And we I have agree. removed the chaps from Omwada. And Omwada is still waxing strong. We have to tell the leaders those that call themselves leaders in the eastern region or the southeastern region, the governors, the kings, the igwes, the pastors, the reverends, all You're of right. them. You're right. Absolutely right. We are still fighting. No, we want, you, ended. To, we want you to implement the things that Umada has said. Do not think that we have been, uh, you, you know, disbanded. Mba. Or drive Never. to the mud. Never. We are not. No. I we agree. still stand and tell you we have not heard about our brother and our leader, Mazin Namdekano, in We're the watching. past weeks. We know. We are watching, not only watching, but yeah. we want you. Yes. We want I you, agree. the people, the leaders, the, the elites in Southeast and the Eastern region. Gather yourselves together. Wherever you put our brother, go and bring him out. Wherever you put our leader, go and bring him out. That's Wherever right. you put our son, our bring husband, him out. go and bring him out. Correct. Because that zoo country called Nigeria will never contain all of us. Never again. If anything should happen mm. to our leader, Mazin Namdekano. I agree. Okay. We are watching. We're watching. Uche. We are watching. We are definitely watching. Uche Mbakwe, you know, you're in this mix. You are in this picture, too, and you you are the you are the patron of Umar Adibu. You are the you know patron position is a big position. What is your view on all these things? And you know, talk to us. Let's talk about it. God, you know, as people say, this is Umada actually expressing everything that has happened and it's so vividly clear, the picture that in the Diamaka put together, Oduma, we can see the picture. And the picture that Rosemary is confirming of Wife Melino, we see the picture. But the patron is sitting there Watching Malipani Nenemenu Dimba. Ouch. I just hit myself too much. <laughs> I just want to, I want to break things relax because, uh, you know, Nidia Maka and, uh, and Rosemary have put my head in some other place. But that is the nature of Umada. You know, they're serious, they're very serious. So, for me, sometimes I have to go to Kakwa. No, you have to break it up so <laughs> you know what you have. Hi, my dear brother, can you can't even know. Uh, Mbakwe, talk to me, please. Talk to all of us from the patron perspective. Thank you very much, uh, Chief. Um, for those of you that don't know me or have not met me, of course, you're seeing my ugly picture on the screen. Oh, um, no, that's not I, want, um, I want to say this. My sister, Ndidamaka, and uh, Rosemary, they've said it all. Amen. 
I don't, I can't remove anything or add much to what they've said. Um, I'm an insider and I don't give a damn. Come on. I, I knew all that happened, transpired. And the report has said it all. Both the report from the regional coordinators earlier, uh, from the first panel investigation, down to the final long lasting panel investigation by the Omoada. Mm -hmm. They took the time, they did a thorough job. I mean, I doff my heart for them. Um, for those of you that have not read it, I encourage you to go and read the report. And if you have read it and still in denial, I'm sorry, you are missing the mark. Um, this is not a time for us to start tinkering or arguing who is doing what, who is collecting money, who is sharing money. Let me put it to you today. If Buhari dumps a bag of money somewhere at the corner and calls me to come and pick it up, I will go and pick it up and I will use it against Zoo. And I will use it to restore Biafra. Mm. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a Biafran veteran. Mm. I fought during the last Biafran war as a gun fitter. I wasn't wow. a gun at gunman. Eight because I had my school certificate in 1966. And for somebody who has completed the secondary school by 1966, it's not a, a small baby. In fact, I'm old enough to have been Onyendo's father. Yes. At my age, I could have been able to impregnate a woman at that time. Hey. So, um, I've seen it all. I'm a Biafran. I believe in Biafra. I believe in uh, the message of uh, Namdi Kalo. And I believe in the restoration of Biafra. Today, tomorrow, and next year. Um, the women have been um, extraordinarily um, you know, they are powerhouse. And um, my association with them is not just because uh, um, I don't know what to do. I found them, and of course, as it's been said, when the women get up, and stand their ground, uh, something's about to happen. So I've worked with them, I've had experience with them, right from a liaison group, and they believe in me, I've always been around to support what they're doing, because they call me a um, um, gallant supporter. Um, I know God knows every heart. And um, whatever is happening today, I want to encourage everybody to look at the bright side, understand where we are, understand our predicament, and realize that we have enemies both inside, outside, internationally. And this is not a time for us to be crying, complaining, either within ourselves or outside, or hoping that the international community are coming to assist us, they have turned their back on us. They would rather go to, down to um, um, Russia and uh, Ukraine, and then um, begin to um, hit inside the jungle and come out and say, who is that hitting? So we've got to learn to take care of ourselves. Today, should not only be a day of um, uh, letting you guys know what has transpired, but also a day for us to move forward. I go on, Akreka. Mm. Cannot keep tinkering, complaining. This is time for action, my brothers and sisters. Come on board. And if you have any doubt whatsoever in the report that Umada panel has given, talk to me. If you have any question, any, any area that is uh, kind of fuzzy in your head, I'm around, I'm available, talk to me. But let us stop tinkering. Let us stop um, making a mountain out of a moon. Mm. And I want everybody, please, if you are in contact with Nelly, 
to advise her either to step down or stand out and stop confusing everybody, stop biasing people's mind, stop preaching it do. Hmm. This is not the time for that. Hmm. There will be a time for us to investigate more and do more research. We have archaeologists, we have historians that can get into the needy gritty and bring us facts about our origin. Hmm. We started at Biafra uh, restaurants. Let us continue with that. Hmm. Coming to tell everybody that Biafra is a dead zone, that um, and, and then uh, telling everybody that God will punish everybody for believing in Biafra, I think that's a slap on our face. And, you know, I'm a little bit rugged and kind of, um, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm not that patient, you know, to absorb nonsense from people. Um, Nelly is overstepping her bounds. Mm. If I thought she has any usefulness, she has outlived her usefulness. So going forward today, um, I, um, I want to encourage everybody to come on board to what we're doing. Um, there has to be a third dimension to what we're doing. Man. It has to yeah. be, yeah. besides legal action, besides um, social media ranting, in fact, we have enough of that already. So now it's time for action. Hmm. I'm going to bring you some help. Because not that you need too much help, my fellow soldier, because I too, I am a foot soldier, a Biafran, and a rugged one. But let me bring, let me bring some help. Uh, let me ask uh, Dr. Onyese, come in and clarify some of what is going on here. You have quite some knowledge. And just to let uh, uh, and Didi Amaka and Rosemary, uh, the principal uh, guests, and uh, Dr. Ndukwe, thank you so much, uh, my brother, Uche. Um, Dr. Onisi, go ahead, please. Come All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. By the way, this is my JC number five. You can see the back. This is the, I mean, belong to Biafra soccer team. Maryland uh, uh, soccer team. So I want you to know it's number five. Only five, number five. Well, let's watch we win all games. We you. win all games, just like we're going to win this one. Okay. <laughs> um, I thank uh, uh, Maazi Mbakwe, my fellow veteran. Maybe you forgot my number. My number is B808456. Never forgot. My children will quote it for you. I'm proud of all of you, our uh, Omaida, and everybody here. And those of you who have not joined Abvet before, please come in. Umayada, I'm not going to talk too much. We are moving forward. Uh, Mazimba, we have alluded to many of the things, or Hamad does not think I was going to talk about. One of them is that third dimension is up and running. The action. Let's do not waste your time to respond to. Your yeah, so called social media. Many of you, could you see me on social media that much? Very rarely I respond to certain things. I talk a lot as a professor, but I don't talk from my mouth, I talk from my brain. Many of them are talking from their mouth. And one of my specialties in medicine is psychiatry. I've been a psychiatrist in this country. I'm an addiction specialist. I can spot those who are on drugs. So, but you people don't know that among us are Geoffrey Dahmer. You people know Geoffrey Dahmer? The one in Milwaukee that eight children in this country. You remember Geoffrey Dahmer? He was killed in jail at Stella Hodge, Indiana, federal prison. After his fellow prisoners found out what he did. Among us, we have borderline personalities. We have she sort of personalities. You people don't know this. Craziness. It's not the people in our culture. Craziness, you think, is the people in the market square wearing rugged hood. No. Most crazy people around, among us and criminals among us are behind the Lexus and Mercedes. They even own private jets. And much of the money they never worked for, they stole from the public coffers. Mm. 
do not waste our time and resources in trying to chase these shadows. Like my Zimbabwe, I mean, Zimbabwe said, there's going to be a time of accountability. Oh, yeah. I also saw a Oh, yes. Last time I spoke here, I mentioned, you know, battle. Yeah, friend, accountability and transparency agency. But I already have an in-depth knowledge and record of all the people involved in the fraud in Biafra restoration. Mm -hmm. Everybody that has stolen money, blood money for that matter, for which God said, leave vengeance for me. Vengeance is for me. He will pay if we don't pay. Trust me. Nemesis never misses road. Nemesis. I'm also an ordained priest. These are people that don't know God. They think they can grab and run. Hmm. You take money that was contributed by somebody in this country who almost sweat blood to make money, to try to restore freedom so they can go home. Mm -hmm. So they can make a place conducive, set yes. the oppressed free for which God mandated us. You mm. take that money and think that you are gone free? No, no, no. Not this God I serve. You got it wrong. If I were you, I would repent right now. So I want those of you here that we are on the third dimension. Abvet do not spend time chasing shadows. Abvet does not change time saying, you know, we remain neutral. We we'll stay neutral. The criteria, the major criteria to become a member of our bet is one. Their blood, their entire blood, over three billion white blood cells in you have to be completely devoid of anything one Nigeria. It has to be Biafra, nothing else. If you ever have any inclination whatsoever that there's going to be one Nigeria, please. Don't come knocking on their friend. Forget about and it. And if you think you're going to do what has happened, to come in and then be somebody that will go and take money from Nigeria and come to derail us, trust me, that era is over. America killed their own saboteurs. Russia does it. France does it. The problem with us is our own saboteurs are still living among us. The third dimension will not spare you. Trust me. This is Thank the time so of action. We're not minding any word. If you FBI, I see, I come and confront me. Many of them were my schoolmates. Many of them were my classmates. They have known what I live for. For in 1981, I wrote an article at the Poor University of Chicago as a pre-med student. Title. Thank you. Thank you so much. The corruption has been exposed. The corruption has been exposed. No matter what is said, no matter who is thinking that they have something that they are going to do to change the direction of the effort to restore Biafra, the corruption has been exposed again. Thank you so much for uh, what you're doing. Thank you. We are, we are going to work together and many other people coming to work with us. Yes. If there's anybody who is in doubt and don't know why Biafra must exist and Nigeria must die, please call me. Please call me. This is not a sentiment. This is, this is where we have seen that in a country where we are born as indigents, we have lived. In fact, we are born in slavery. We didn't mm. know that. That's where Mazi Onion do came in. Mazi Nandekano is the one single handedly, DOS or DQD or whatever they are, had no role to play. That man single handedly opened the eyes and unfolded the history of the Biafra genocide. By the way, Mazi Mbakwe, they are sort of like Biafra Civil War. It's a Nigerian Civil War of Biafra genocide. Please, hmm. people, the terminology, ask me. I help you with the terminology. He single-handedly, right. he single-handedly looked at the history of the genocide, 
that was hidden by Fulani and Britain and brought it to the public and led the post-civil war and post-genocide children to educate them and say, look, this is what's going on. You are still slaves. And they were able to connect. And that's why they followed him. He also single-handedly, with the same token, let the Arabs, the Middle Belt, even the Arabs, to know that they are what? Being enslaved by immigrants, the Fulani Caliphate, in the land where they are the indigenous. So if you don't know why Nigeria must die completely, Nigeria is like a patient in ICU who is on life support. Now, what we're doing what? Trying to invite the families to come together and pay the last homage to him and then make a decision and say, cut the life support. Then we go and read the will, which is the what? Do we have any asset in the federal? We share it. Say thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Please, Umada, go to your campaign. If you find anybody that wants to join, please we vet everybody. We check red blood cells, white blood cells. We don't and take anything at the first phase. Yes, we <laughs> gotta know your language now. That era of um, Takea. Tell me another thing you're doing, and that thing is over. Thank In you, final sir. conclusion, if you ever know that you are somebody who cannot resist, a Ghana bus go filled with brand new dollar bills, please don't come to us. Thank you so don't much. And I'm Thank sure. you so much. And may God be with you guys. <laughs> and let us go home and be free. Uh, 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 my <laughs> sister, Rosemary, you're, you're laughing in the, in the America. You guys are something. Is it just a power, Father Father Onyabo? Father, thank you very much. Uh, Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Chief. Onye uh, Onye Um. So, because on the day they do an advert, and I make a loan. Make a loan. Oh, sir. How do you get a umbarambo to make it? Nyego maka. Yes, and okay, maybe about when things started going bad, I was enjoying. for instance, my last pledge because things weren't working well. Uh, basically, I'm sure you could, what my point today, please. If there is anything we can put in place, as all of us know too well. Nam the canoe is out and out. No two ways about this stand. And um, just the way that only six put it, our blood, all our uh, genes, and everything, every blood, any every nerve and cell in our body should be of Biafra and not anything about Nigeria. We have nothing to do with it. Uh, at a point when they were asking us to swear, my my here in Philadelphia, I told them I will not take an oath because I got into the Biafran army. I was not conscripted in the, in the American language. I was not drafted. I got into the army with four half pennies, four half pennies, and my catapult on my neck. That was all. I went to the army. I got enlisted. I was not drafted. And I fought the war until the end. Now, I want us to know, please, that Mazen Namdekano, our able leader, God sent. Yes. Um, as the uh, Lord Jesus said, he has given us the, 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 the he open, opened us up. He has opened us up to, to face the reality, opened our eyes to face the reality. Now it is for us to carry on the the, the 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 plans he has in mind. So and I'm re I'm sure he's willing to die if it comes to that. Okay, please. I will stop here and I I'll, I'll, I'll talk again, please. Thank you very much. When you I Father, thank you so much. Um, <coughs> thank you so much, uh, Father Dallin, for coming on board. Uh, 
Let, let's go to now to we, we really have to come to some kind of conclusion. So in the Diamaka, uh Rosemary, we come to both of you. Ndidiamaka, talk to us. You've heard some things that some people have expressed. You don't, uh, Omar da Biafra basically have no problem at all. American Biafran veterans are standing behind you. And let them know. I don't care if it's Buhari or anybody else, or even in Gige. I don't care who they are, or even all Jews or Kalo. Doesn't matter. Umar Adab Biafra has the support, the backing of the American Biafran veterans. Let them understand that. And we will stand behind you. We will stand next to you. We will stand in front of you. Whatever we have to do to keep Umar Adab going forward, to do the things that they, the projects that they would like to do, we're behind you 120%. It doesn't matter. So, Biko, Nidiamaka, talk to us. You know, we have to come to some conclusion because I'm, um, you know, we're, we're just, we're, Dr. Onishi said it correctly. We, we're, you know, we're moving forward. We've got a lot more to do in front of us. A lot more. If it do not you come, or do you know? Very, very important. Very important. Thank you again, Chief. Thank you, thank you, dear friend. Um, Avet, I mean, you can't, you couldn't have said it better. I really appreciate this. In as much as we have decided that forward ever, backward never. You say, Umada Biafra worldwide. The ones that have been tested and found worthy to answer that name, we are yes. moving forward. Yes. There is something that was said here. If you now you, if you know you are such an avaricious person, your love for money is irresistible. Please don't find your way where this Umada are. Bam. These very Umada that are moving forward are the ones we call the women on a mission. Yes. When we say Nanya Lali Shichere Mporo, that speaks volume. These women you see here, we have been tested and tried. And our work we tell it all. Posterity will remember us for the work we do. Are we gonna do? If you know you have the quality of Pandidamaka and Rosemary. The women who will stand up to say no to evil come on board. In as much as it, this time around, it doesn't matter. We want quality people who are ready to bring their time, talent, and treasure. If you know you are one of these women that were giving this Korean call, the 100 women and men Mazinam Dekal is asking for, please come on board. Remember, America, as many as they are today, how many people got their independence for them? Less than 60 people. We don't need everybody. We don't need those who are very, very, you know, negative in their thinking. We want risk takers. We want those who are ready to put their time, talent, and treasure. We want you to come on board because we are ready to move on. And if you are out there in the social media using the name of Umada Biafra Worldwide to propagate evil, propagate things that are not our objective, when we go to our website, you're going to see what Umada Biafra stands for. Umada Biafra, we're going to communicate to you. We have our website. We have our forum. We have our broadcasting pages and everything we're going to unfold it to you guys in the weeks ahead and we'll tell you how often we're going to be coming out to talk to you guys this woman that here are ready to rescue the land and everything like sister rosemary said everything we plan to do 
we must accomplish because we are ah, we men on a mission. If you know you are, you don't have this boldness, you don't have this courage, you don't have this time, please fall by the wayside. And for those who use our name there to propagate that they are not into agitation, we are into rescuing our land. Agitation that leads to the rescue of our land and saving of our lineage, saving of our people. So you need to come on board. Having said this, Umada Biafra worldwide unanimously expelled Chiwen Acholonu from Umada Biafra worldwide because she sold Umada. Chiwen Acholonu probably used my account, or Rosemary's account, based on the finding of the panel to launder money. And if we want Biafra that is whiter than white, women that we be, usually they say the men are the ones that are tempted and they fall by the wayside when money is waved at their, in their presence. But now the women we have on board these days are more avaricious than the men. And they have, we have unanimously expelled her from Umada Biafra worldwide. Dr. Chioma Okeoma, she resides in New York and in, in Facebook, she's known as Alaya Sadada. She was one of the women that perverted justice. Her action perverted the justice of, um, of Umada. And we feel we cannot go into Biafra with the mindset of the zoo. Corruption is one of the things that kept zoo where it is today. And we don't want to be part of corruption. For that reason, she's been expelled from Umada as well. Princess Odonowo, you people will see her was the one that was bringing shrine, which she went on on uh, on the social media. She was supposed to be part of the panelists because the other people did not allow her propagate the agenda of Chiwen. She fell by the wayside. She left the panel before the conclusion of the investigation. If former in Maryland, I can't recall her last name, but she knows herself. She was also one of them that was propagating, trying to pervert justice. Umada unanimously removed her as well or expelled her from the group. The same goes with uh, um, Mrs. Oyibo Waifri, I don't know her last name, but that's what she answers. They are the women that wanted to cover justice. Today, I want to let Biafra know that a church, a church account was involved in extorting money from Umada. And that church pastor because what they wanted us not to do was to find out who are the owners of the church. We were able to send people to corporate affairs in Abuja. They were able to unravel the owners of this church, who are the trustees of this church. They were able to, because this is one of the accounts where Umada's money was laundered into, and we were able to find out the owners of this church were able to find out who are the trustees of this church. We were able to trace this church to their location in Lagos. First act precisely, this church is inactive, and yet Chiwe brought them to extort money from us. And mind you, Chiwe's husband is a pastor. I rest my case right there. So based on all these atrocities and for the fact that these women, we are out to make sure we uncover every truth. Chiwe intimidating our panelists. Chiwe knowing too well that one of the people that got money from us was also the person that got money from us when Azuka as Chas, Acholon, uh, Chas, Wankwa of Salitonia was with us. 
That was also when Nelly was with us. She went knew this same man came to get money from her for three different projects with three different names. And she knew and she didn't tell us. This is not the type of Biafra we want to go back into. This is exactly why zoo is what it is today. And we cannot accept that. So based on that, we have unanimously expelled them and we are moving forward. And we put a disclaimer that whatever they propagate there, we are not part of it. Whatever they, they claim out there, we are not part of it. We, as Umada Biafra Worldwide, Registered name, we have copyright coverage on this name. Anybody using this name without our written permission stands a chance of being sued up to a million dollars. We have filed this, we have copyright protection on this name. We are putting it in the public so that people will know when you propagate this name, Umada, without our authorization, Without our permission, you stand the risk of legal battle with us. We are in a civilized world. Let's do things like civilized people for the first time. We have been thinking that we are doing trust me, I trust you. That was why my account was given out there. Rosemary's account was given out there. And we were called different names. We were told we stole money. We were told everything. But we said it that justice and truth is like gold. When you wear it, even in darkness, it shines. That was why whatever they did to pervert justice, we said, no, we must unravel the truth. And eventually the truth is out there and no matter are ready to move on. So moving forward, these women, Chiwa Cholonu, Dr. Chomo Kawa, Princess Odonluje, Oyibo Waifri, Informa, all of them, but, um, Engineer Kachinere, she lives in Austria. They are not part of us. They are the women that perverted justice. They are the women that supported evil. While active investigation was going on, these women were forming a kangaroo executive where they wanted the report that should be made public to be forwarded to them. We shall remember. Our leader, Mazin Namdekalu, when they wanted to do secret hearing for him, he stood against it because that is why evil is still growing in, Biaf in Nigeria and Biafra today. If you can expose every evil without fear or favor, people know it well that evil must be, if you perpetrate it, you will be called out. Then people will stop doing it. But when we continue covering evil, people will think it's whom you know. Man, no man. The Biafra we want to build is not a Biafra of man, no man. It's a Biafra where integrity, justice, equity, and honesty will be the watchword. You say. The Biafra we want our children to inherit is a Biafra where they know they will be given employment, they will be given a position based on merit, not based on whom they know, not based on whom they follow to blackmail. None of whom they follow to life against. That is not the Biafra we want to go into. We want to fight this battle, never to leave it for our children to inherit. Sure. And Biafra women, I challenge you. They say when things, as my Lord and God I serve, says in terms of difficulty, call me and see whether I'm God that answered by fire. Mm. As we call upon the God that answered by fire to lead us, I beckon on courageous Biafra women. Women who still think like our uneducated women, mothers of 1929, who were brave enough to stand against imperialism and British uh, 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 mal maltreatment at that time. I call upon you to join these women on a mission. Because we're going to rescue our land. They have almost killed all the male children in Biafra land. And we will say no to that. Whatever it takes to say no to that. Biafra mm. women, I call upon you rise. We got to move. And we got to move now. We got to move now. If we must have a place we call a home. If we have a place we go back tomorrow. 
if we will not remain on exile and die in exile, therefore we may rise. You people should leave this. Some of our men have failed us. Therefore, we may remember. Look at my Zimbabwe. Look at his age. Look at Reverend Father Onye, Onye Abo. Look at Dr. Onyise. Look at the men that are spilling blood and fire with their mouth about our freedom. That will make you wonder why people my age and younger than me are taking bribe, keeping quiet. These men have nothing to lose. Whether you secure Biafra tomorrow, the much they can live on earth now, they live another 50 years. And yet they have this furious desire to rescue their, this generation. So what is it that people like me, you, that are younger are doing? We are all in the social media blackmailing each other. We are all in the social media perverting justice. We are all in the social media fighting against each other and the house and the and the Muslims and Flanis are advancing, taking over our land, chasing our people, putting them in ID camps. And you people are here. If you know you cannot speak, if you know you cannot fight, you can't be a foot soldier, donate your money. This fight now needs to be fought now and never. It's mm. not going to be tomorrow. It's today. Rise. Wake up from your slumber because posterity will judge you. We judge me if we leave this fight for our children. It is time to rise, Biafra women. Rise, Biafra women. Biafra women, rise to lead and your men will follow. See, that is what they want. Biafra women, I challenge you, rise. Rise, Biafra women. Those of you that are genuinely seeking for freedom, please rise. Rise. Thank you so much. Now. Powerful okay. message. Powerful message. Women on a mission. You are being called to rise. Dr. Onyese. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, you, uh, uh, all you I know, Quickly to, as you can, please. Yes, uh, she has uh, done it all. Just wanted to emphasize. There's something she said earlier that made me raise my hand. Uh, and that is, uh, I want to advise us and remind us that in Abvet, we are very neutral. We don't um, listen to side talks and things like that. Uh, the name I give myself is, uh, the name I give myself is uh, Azanoka. Ibelajaka Shono. Azo Anoka. And they asked me, I said, Jesus was cursed. Who am I not to be cursed? As recently, they have said it all. You must have your personal and individual internal referendum as a complete Biafran to come to our vet. That's what she meant. If you can go be a soldier, send somebody by getting your donation. Please, we don't listen to social media here. We don't bring social issue to our vet. We are strictly focused on onion do how does he come out how do we get to biafra those are the two main objectives and nothing more any years of your side talk anything call individuals privately and talk about it we are on the move biafra now or never thank, thank you. you sir thank you <clears throat> you know sometimes we need some legal mentality legal expertise to clear the air and clear some uh, cobwebs. Uh, Dr. Um, uh, Esquire, barrister. Oh, that's the British way of saying it. A uh, lawyer. Okay, that's the American way. Uh, Andy and Esquire, uh, we recognize that you are here. Thank you for joining us. Um, this is Chief Obidike. Please express your views. All question. Thank you for coming. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Um, I want to start by um, extending my salute to all the uh, all our fathers here, all the Biafran veterans here. Yes, sir. I have so much and so much respect for you guys. 
for you men, for you fathers. Emma, um, I, I I want to um, uh, miss my words with Anna uh, Sukuibo and Anna Su Ingliibo. Um, before we get into to uh, more than the Amaka, Chey, more than the Ruku, eh? Ege kidenem. Wow. And uh, our sister Rosemary. Before I come to them, because permit me, ka I'm going to honor to those whom the cap fit, those who want to be recognized. Thank you. You know, I Thank happen you. to be a son of a Biafran soldier. And uh, I, because I to hey, too much respect, too much respect. Go ahead. All the Biafran veterans here, because I bow down my head. I respect and I salute every one of you. On behalf of my own father, my father is still alive. His name is Francis Duru. Um, somebody, only uh, one of our daddy here that made mention of a. Uh, uh, being at Obirinze during the Biafran War, uh, my father was also uh, part of this uh, 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 part of them in Obirinze as a uh, RSN. Go ahead, sir. And, and so, um, when I I was listening to everyone talking and giving out their numbers because my father actually sat me down and gave me all the you know all the indices of. Uh, what happened and how the uh, how everything happened? He was also not inscripted. He joined to fight for our motherland, mm -hmm. Biafra, and this actually was one of the reasons why, uh, uh, growing up, and uh, when I chose a course to go and study law and all that, he was to not only to uh, become uh, go into private practice, but to also be uh, 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 a human rights activist. Also, in defense of humanity and those who are being oppressed, I am so elated this evening to, uh, uh, from my side here, is evening already, to to uh, be in this uh, forum. I greet and I salute every one of you, sir. Because I I want to uh, also appreciate uh, our Omada. Sister Rosemary and uh, um, more than Didi Amaka. Uh, I heard Sister uh, Didi Amaka very extensively, and she has spoken very well, very analytical, and um, quite, quite, <laughs> quite elucidatory. Because uh, what I actually want to, you know, um, Oh, there is this uh, proverb in Igbo say uh, afi me you know you can you can cover pregnancy no matter how um uh, 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 at the formation stage you can uh, the, the, the 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 woman can 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 begin to say i know i am not uh, who told you who told you that like my mother used to tell us whenever she's pregnant she say ah mommy you're getting fat oh. are you sure you're not come on put you on there like, who told you i'm pregnant i am not no, 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 no. After telling us I am not, even spank and us that she is not, and then we'll just keep quiet and wait for her in the next four months. In the next four months, she that her hand in the front will now go to the back and she'll be uh, 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 dragging it from the back. When I say, Mommy, you said the other time that you were not pregnant. Now, what is happening? So, I feel me, I, no matter how you cover it, it will surely uh, expose uh, the, the, the victim. So, the I am very, very, very much happy that um, they've been able to conduct this uh, investigation and then um, proofs. Everything had come to limelight and uh, um, posterity have also been able to exonerate um, uh, 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 part of this our Omar mm -hmm. now on the fact that th their hands were, were clean. You know, uh, 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 like one of the Muslims in law, say he who comes to equity, you must come with a clean hands. And uh, it, it was very thoughtful and very wise of you, the Umada, staying quiet, staying calm in the amidst the whole of this uh, bruhaha name callings, accusations, and the rest of them. At the end of the day, you were adjudged 
turn through the fire and you were able to come out uh, 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 with a blueprint of the fact that now the ocha. Now, over that now Akono the ocha, and we are also having our fathers here, also giving coming out wholeheartedly to say we give our support. We 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 are supporting you, you people. We are behind solidly solidly behind you people to go all out and and uh, be a disciple and be a, a, a fisher women of righteousness. Please, I want to beg of you. If it's possible to see um in you know all, all the all the all the all the razzmatazz in the in the night to uh, be called in the daytime as a bite of mosquito and put it behind you because yes. you have already been you have you have already been adjudged you have already been been tested and proven to be right to be um, uh, 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 to be to have come to equity in a justiciable manner he said a clear conscience fears no accusation so it doesn't matter anymore this this the the judgment of the the panelists or whatever their their outcome is i think it's in is is in the public out there uh for people to see and for people to uh read through i have also gone through uh part of it and have seen and at the end of the day some of these uh, social medias uh to the ones we have i have time to um stumble into i'll keep going to write it it's part of the ways to change the narrative but uh, imana when god wants to save you he will first of all you know allow uh call rubbish and whatever when that phase is over you will see the hand of god coming Amen. you know to prove Amen. you and prove you and prove you until he brings you to that particular palace where he wants you or her, she, he, he wants him or her to be. You and see? that's where you where you people are now. Thank God. Because I want to beg, I want to beg my own. I, 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 I'm on, a, I'm on a, uh, a pleading side. I want to beg the Umada worldwide right now to please open um, up with me why our uh, American Biafran uh, veteran uh actually um you people are, are, are anchoring on their support please in nine and now you will understand what is going on in the uh, what is going on in the uh ipob biafra formation there have been a lot of um so many lies uh money say that one say that one say I actually liked what one uh, somebody said here. What uh, uh, Nanyan Bakwe actually made that statement, trying to talk to uh, Nelly of Webu. Um, the issue with uh, 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 what's her name, said Doctor Nelly of Webu, is that when we hear German singers, somebody may overtry. Well, the overtry. I'm asking how to interpret it in English. Um, she overdoes things, you yeah. know. Uh, uh, she overdoes things. She 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 goes overboard. Overboard when trying to do something. Yes. Yes. That's that's what they call uh, uh, overtribe. You know. <laughs> Man, uh, <laughs> that's what Germans call uh, overtribe. That now somebody that he, he does things uh, uh, beyond even beyond the constituted um, uh, uh, region. But then let it not uh, be the reason to um, uh, stop. Uh, the good thing you're doing no. uh, form, a, form a synergy with uh, those you think you feel they are um, uh, standing on the right path with regards to uh, 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 Biafra restoration project. Correct. I want to beg of you and I, I, I really would want to uh, uh, see that uh, even our veterans, because we can't do without these people. No. I, I, I happen to be a, 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 a a, a, a member of IPOB, haven't listened to Mazin Nandekano in uh, 2000 and, um, 2014. It was 2013. I was, it was uh, indecisive. As of 2014, I'd already joined. 
Why? Because he was saying so many of those things that my father told me. My father told me. I was born immediately after the war, you know, and growing up, he has to, my father has to start telling me about this, thing, even to the extent of we traveling home, he went to the backyard of his mother's sister and dug a, a, a ground to bring out his own uh, gun and boots, you know. Uh, mm. So each time I knew, I said, my father used to make uh, an analogy. Okay, uh, okay, I'm going to make a boot. Yeah, I'm going to this is my boot now, and this is my gun. Anytime anybody saying, I am saying all this because you are my first son. Your mother, you were inside the stomach while the war, I was still out there fighting this war and all that. When they say, okay, this war ends and all that, we have the reason coming back home. After subsequent to that, I was giving birth. So growing up, he keep, you know, he might always telling me part time part time about this is the very day he showed me the gun we we dug the ground i was wondering what are we digging are we digging yam or what see that there's no sign of uh, where you planted yam here he said keep quiet just watch he dug up the the shoe inside the shoe he deepened inside one of the shoes and brought up their friend, uh currency <laughs> and said to me i kept this thing that my first son Will it, will it that it will be part of the things that my first son will inherit? So I, I inherited that thing while while he still, while he was he still he still alive. He gave, he showed them to me. He gave them to me. I said, but this gun doesn't work anymore. I said, whether it works or not, this was the gun that was given to me as a uh, regimental sergeant major or something like that. RSM. This was the gun that was given to me, and this is my boots which I used. The book, the book to the catcher I hear and about, and I said, Daddy, how can you be wearing this? I was saying, shut up. This was what I wore <laughs> or for to protect my land, to protect my land, you know? So what am I trying to say? I can, I don't think I will, I will ever function well in any of the uh, Biafra agitating this thing and all that without the, 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 the very presence and of the fact that now anyway, um, uh, uh, Biafran veterans somewhere still places still alive. So if if Obi the Muton come, if you see how happy I am, you know, time will fail me to begin to express majority of these things. But I am so happy, and I thank God for keeping so very many of you are uh, still alive to continue to tell us this story, continue to ginger, and continue to you know, uh, encourage us. I want to finally, uh, in submission, um, Sister Nidamaka, uh, oh, in the one I say, for Joe, Mwa Butwe, Butwe, uh, what I could only be say she, Mwa Butwe, no, 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 Butwe, uh, Sister Rosemary, Biko, I ask you, Butwe, uh, Sister Rosemary, oh, 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 my big sister, oh, I say, Butwe, Butwe, no, 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 no matter whatever it is, let, let peace, let peace that passeth every understanding, let the shalom of God be your watchword. Rest in your mind, in your soul, and in your spirit. Let the, your spirit, every vexative spirit, let it come. And let's see how we can still work together in order to see how uh, Onion Dumas and Nandekano can come out of the place. Uh, ESN, on a very sincere note, being uh, um, uh, supported. And the ones who are standing on the path of justice and equity and all that, um, see how we can enter the Sabana Hajanuku to see that uh, we all arrive at the same um, uh, mathematical word, the, uh, the same derivative. Because okay. thank you very much. I am thank very, you. very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Emeka, you thank have you. spoken. I appreciate you. You've spoken very well. Barrister Emeka, thank you, Andy. You did well. You spoke strong. You spoke like a soldier. Whether you were in the belly or outside, you spoke very well. Thank you so much, Barrister. I, you know, um, Mbakwe, you know, you're being called again. 
Um, there is a reason for the call to you, the patron. But only you know the reason. Well, I'm, I know I'm just an anchor. What is the reason you're being called? Uche, Mbakwe. Back, soldier. Uh, Chief Obidike, thank you very much. Um, I don't know why I'm being called. I don't even know why I'm here in the United States after the Biafran War. I don't even know how I survived the war. Mm. But I believe one thing. God always place you at the right time, at the right place. So I has a reason for us being in diaspora at this nitty gritty time. And so it behoves us to take advantage of that, to accept that. It's a blessing. Not many, not, in fact, a lot of us perished during the war. I don't even know how I survived. I don't even know how of all the um, survivors of the Biafran war. But you're here. I had a scholarship to come to the United States. I come from a very poor family. In fact, the day I will sit down to write my life history, it, it will fill a 300-page book. But mm -hmm. I thank God for being here at such a time like this. Thank you so much. I am blessed to work with gallant Umad. Nice. So um, I want to say thank you, Andy and Mecca Esquire, for your testimony and for your encouragement for Umada to continue in that drive. I believe in Amaka, I believe. Even though they have been injured, they have put it aside. Yes. They are willing to move forward with the, with, with, with the, with the fight. Yes. To gain our freedom and restore. Okay. So um, I just want to encourage every man. Now, Amaka has called on women to join mm -hmm. the battle, to yes. step up. I'm also calling on the men, men of value, uh -huh. men of mm -hmm. to come on board yes. with their treasure which God has given them. Mm -hmm. Because yes. if they fail to use the treasure that God has given them, God will take it away from them. He said... They have to appreciate God's blessing. And mm -hmm. the only one way now that they can appreciate God's blessing is to invest in the struggle, to come on board with us. So that we can drive the um, the battle home. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You, um, I guess that uh, we we'll come almost to the end, and I get the chance to um, close this session. Above and beyond the fire, <laughs> women on a mission. Umada. Umada. May God bless you. Amen. Bless you too, sir. What I like so much is that you have this tolerance after being put through this ring of fire. And you still maintain that tolerance to open your heart and the door to those who have fell wayside and have been dragged into a different direction. And you are so that open and asking those who are still mind, still have the mindset on the mission to come back. Who cannot appreciate that? Everybody should be able to appreciate that. Umada, look, if you're on the wrong side, you're out because you are not going to stop this train. If you still have it in your heart to work to restore the nation of Biafra, come on home. That's a lot. That's a big heart. That's a, you know, that's, it's a good thing that you're women because if you're men, we have a different way of saying it. But that is a very big heart. And very appreciative of that. I like the idea. And it should have been done a long time ago. A call. A clarion call. For Biafran veterans. 
It's, I don't know. Well, okay. Look, you know, you know, my producers, you know, those of us who've been doing this, sometimes we don't even know. If if we go to Aka, and I've been on Alokon, Nekonya, Nekonya, and the whole thing is full of people that would like to speak. But I'm talking about Nekonya. Hey, now Lozunaka, no. If I had something, I would take this finger right off. <laughs> but I would not, because oh yes, yes, ma'am. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I bow. Hey. Good, good afternoon from here, Mazi. Oh, you, oh. you are doing a wonderful job. Thank you so much, Induwezi. <laughs> Come inside, talk to us. You yes, heard thank some, you. You heard your Queen Ogomaka, the testimonies and the uh, and the uh, exposures of corruption and all these things and the restoration of Umada because all mm. this that we're talking now is restoring them and we're giving mm. them from the American Biafran veteran. Induwezi, Come now inside and talk to us. What is yes, your assessment? Yes, Marzi. Yes, I've had everything. I'm going to be here in the half room. I'm part of those that, um, you know, sat on the first panel. We dealt with it and we issued out a memo. And uh, we found Rosemary and Indidiamaka not wanting in anything. Even though they weren't doing anything about our memo. But we, we always have to stand on the truth. That's how our leader taught us. Mazen Nam the Kano. Oh, it was where so I also I bought an Ezioku Bujera that place. I get focus on. So we looked into it as the regional coordinators and uh, issued out our our own memo in our own communique yes. on the whole thing that transpired. So Ndidiamaka and uh, Rosemary, both women, we are cleared like two months ago, even before they started their own internal internal uh, panel of investigation. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Yes. Now, um, we are working with both women. Uh, Rosemary is one of our coordinators in the United States. She coordinates the Pacific region for us. Yes. And then the Diamaka is also our members. Uh, so we are behind them. IPOB, not America. This is America, East, uh, Central, Pacific, and the uh, mountain per se, including Canada, we are behind them. These are yes. clean women. They are clean. I don't have, we don't see any wrong doing on their own side. They were doing a good job, but for some reasons, some people, you know, decided that they're going to destroy what they were doing. So, as I haven't said that, I'm at work. The reason is where Bataba, but I'm not you know, and uh, you've been doing a wonderful job. And that may use when this opportunity. Now, all of you, the Dr. Oni say, I know Dr. Oni said in Maryland, and other people know within Maryland, Washington, D.C., Virginia, and um, all my, uh, protests I organized for the release of our leader, Mazen Namdekano. I and the Yorubage made this protest together on the 31st of March. And may use this opportunity, I you know, look um, only we get their support to at this protest. At least Potasurai, our one and do but there are four one that's you people that are uh, you know US Army veterans no no but they will know that yes, these people are serious and they, they are serious about what they are looking for. So Mazi Himsika make a one of my how to help us and how to come out and uh, you know be behind us. We are not putting any financial burden on you guys because uh, most of you have done so much. The financial burden is going to be us, the, the new generation. So we are not going to be asking or demanding any finance, more financial burden on you guys unless you decide to do something on your own as in support of ESA and the rest of them. So we you. want you guys behind what we are doing. We want to work with you guys. We want you guys to also work with us. Probably, you. One, probably one of these days, the regional coordinators in North America will come to your program and talk to our people. Amen. That's exactly what he's looking for. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy. Yes, you, Marcy. Yes, Thank you, Marcy. Yeah, you know, I, I, I want to do something. Uh, you know, 
you have heard now some responses from all corners of the world on what transpired and what you have talked about. Now, I want to go ahead and, you know, do what I got to do. But in a few seconds, a few minutes, Biko Diamaka, respond to what others have now responded to and have said. Can you do that? <laughs> yes. Yes. Go ahead, my Thank sister. You. Yes, Chief. Thank you very much. And uh, this will be very brief. Uh, you know, they said both left hand and right hand, they are all mine. And there's no one, none I want to, you know, be cut off. Whether whether those who support us and those who do not support us, we are all still dear friends. We are still siblings. We are still the same people. We have one agenda. We have one goal. We have one nation to fight for, and that is Biafra. And for that reason, and for the reason that Nambi Kalo is in dungeon paying an ultimate price, I can sacrifice anything. I can tolerate anything. And I know the same way my sister Rosemary can do anything, tolerate anything for the sake of Biafra, for the sake of that man who has paid every ultimate price for us. Based on that, we have forgiven and forgotten, but one thing we will not compromise is coming clean to this forum. If yes. you must come in, we must vent you. The, you the association clean. is open to women of integrity and honor, women who are ready to sacrifice. The Biafra we are looking for is the Biafra we are looking for is Biafra. Where, what can you do for Biafra, not what Biafra can do for you? These are the kind of women we want in this nation. So having said that, uh, um, my brother, um, Barrister Andy Emeka, I assure you, we are not going to be the same forward ever, backward never. The only way you're going to move forward is leaving your, behind, your, your yesterday. Though your yesterday teaches you an experience, and that's why we have put things in place, so that in the future we will not have this kind of uh, Financial inappropriations or uh, misappropriations, rather. That's why, oh, Mother Biafra, if you're going to donate for this mission we are going into, you're going to go and donate directly through our website, through our bank account. And we will let Biafrans know this because when we start, we're not going to stop. It is not, it is no longer, it's going to be in the public domain because I have had three direct people related to me who Zodema has killed. And I'm not going to be waiting, painting it down that, oh, we're going to be good, we're going to be good, and my whole siblings are killed. That is not going to be tolerated anymore. So we are moving, and we call everybody to come. The North Americans, the uh, Mazze Jesse, Mazze Oliver, Mazze Onyeka, Sister Rosemary, you guys are awesome. Umada are ready to work with you guys. The veterans, we are ready to work with you guys. Madam Bridget Okafor, for women leader, I salute you wherever you are. We are ready to work with you. We are ready to work with people of integrity and honor because the flani is not, you know, it's not bulging. They're not stopping. And we are gonna do what we got to do. Self-defense is not an offense. Even carrying arms is allowed in the in the African Charter. If it requires women to carry arms to go and defend their land, we will do that. This time around, I'm not going to wait and watch and see a whole generation being exterminated and my children will be stuck in America, not to know their history, not to know where their home is. So please, we are calling on everybody. Please put everything behind you. Put everything aside and let's move forward. We are ready to move forward. We are ready to raise funds. There are men who are ready to support us. Let's work together. Let's consolidate all these individual groups and work together and actualize that one mission because Flani cannot overrun us if we are together. They are doing, having their feel now because they feel we are fragmented. We are here and there. They know that when Biafras come together, they can't stand up. And that is exactly what we want to do. We want to un unify ourselves. We want to come together and do the needful. And I tell my Biafran, fellow Biafran women and men out there, please, pay attention to what they do and not what they say. 
there are still some women out there who will take our brokers today, our appearance today, and take it beyond, you know, whatever they want to take it. Please don't be derailed. Please don't be moved. They couldn't, they can't say more than what they have said before. So don't pay attention to that. Biafra women, we move. We must rescue our land. And Biafra women, I challenge you. You have done it. You did it in 1929. This is 2021, Biafra, 2022. Biafra women, I call upon you. Let's move. B Zoo cannot stand us if we move. We must move, Biafra women. If they want to kill all of us, they, they get ready to kill all of us. But Biafra women, we must stand up to save the land. The onion falls on us now. We must rise. And the time is now. Biafra women, I challenge you. Let's go. We move. How many times can we say it? it is correct? Let me jump into another area in conclusion. Fundraising. Yes. Yes, we need funds. Who does not? But let's be honest about it. Ukrainian women are, are now raising their arms to defend their family, to defend their honor, and to defend their nation. The Afghan women, if we have to raise arms, if you have to raise them, then may, look, we see what's going on in Nigeria, we'll raise the arm. If we, as far as I am concerned, and I've said this before, if they come from afar to Biafra land to do harm, to do mayhem, to destroy our people, to kill our people, to do all the atrocities, let me tell you something, they must not go back home alive. They must not go back where they come from alive. Because they came to do something, and I don't care who is trying to harm Umar Biafra. For all the good, do you know how much work they do? Do you know how many wounded they help? Do you know how many children they help? Do you know how many people they feed? Do you know, and you bring somebody to come to disrupt that? You must not go back where you come from alive. He will never go back. Let's make sure. And I am personally, I, you know, I used to interview Buhari. And I'm sending a message to Buhari. My dear, well, I can't call him that. No, 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 no. All those people around you, take your people back home to where they come from. We're letting you know. It seems every day your people have their free hand to do what they want to do in Alibo, Ibo land. There is a cost. Now the British may give you power. But whatever power that they have given to you, we will not accept it. Be mindful. I, I keep telling you, we are American Biafran veterans. The Biafran veterans, I thank you. And I don't know where you are now. You're in New Jersey, New York, wherever. There used to be quite a number. Come out. We need you now. We can no longer go backwards. If their foot is in Biafra land to do harm, they cannot and must not go back. One way or the other, they will stay there. Because they left their family to come and do damage to ours for whatever mission they are in. We're not accepting it. They will never see their own again. Women on a mission. 
Come on, Adam. I salute you. God bless you. Don't let anything destroy your mission. Namdi. They are working. Somebody let him know that Chief Obidike is sending a message to you. Umwa Adibo are working and they are working diligently despite all that is trying to infiltrate their efforts to bring you out to protect our land, to protect our labor. May God watch over all of us. Amen. God bless you. Bless you too. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you too, Mr. Dike. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. Got your phone. Everybody, everybody. God bless you. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye. everyone. Thank you.